Hello everyone, myself Sabri and I welcome you to our channel Solution Bridge Network and one-stop solution for all your power platform tutorials. Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to understand how we can embed a canvas app into a model driven app. For this use case, I have used one of my existing tables which is called as show inventory. Let me take you to the show inventory table and show the list of columns what I have for your reference. So show inventory data is my table and I'm just opening the list of columns available in that table. This will show all the columns which are created by the system. These are default columns. And if you have a prefix attached, these are the columns created by me personally. These are the custom columns. So CR2B8 is my ID. So let me go to name filter and just filter CR2B8. So this will just list down all the columns which are created by me. So we have color, discount percentage, final price. If you scroll down, you will find a primary column, which is CUID. So with this table, we are first going to create a model driven app and then create a canvas app and embed to it. Let me go to the home page and start with a page design. And you can select a blank page with a navigation. This will create a blank model driven app. You can call us embed canvas apps to model driven and you can click on create so our model driven app creation user interface is ready now let's click on plus and add a dataverse table you're already aware that we're gonna add a shoe inventory data table so let me search for shoe and select the shoe inventory data i've checked the show in the navigation so that it will be available in the navigation so this is the default view what it has been available for the shoe inventory we have product number product category product name list price and a link to open the item so here we need to focus on forms where we are integrating the canvas apps so let's go to the forms and click on edit so it is asking us to save and continue let's say save and continue and now let's edit the form here we have a default list of items available which i'm not interested to use so what i'll do i'll select the owner move it to the header i leave the unique identification number and i would like to remove the rest of the columns so select the column and click on delete to have it removed so let me delete all the columns. Now I have only one column called UID. Now let's me save and publish this. The form is saved. The next step, what we are trying to do here is we will add a canvas app and tie that to the UID column of that list. Let's say the form will always be in an edit mode and this will look up for the uid and it will show the information relevant to that uid to achieve that we should go to the classic interface the reason being in the classic interface you have a privilege to create a canvas app from scratch if you want to include an existing canvas app you can go to the components and here you can search for canvas and you will be able to add an existing canvas app here I would like to take you to the classic interface to create the new canvas app. So you can click the three dots and click on switch to classic. This is the form what we have seen here and this is a general section. There is a column called UID. This is the column which we are trying to bind it. So just double click on that column and you will have a pop up opened. Here you should go to controls and you should say add control. You have list of controls what you can select from scroll down and look for canvas app select canvas app and click on add if you see the control section here you have a toggle buttons so if you just hover over you will be able to see when the canvas app should be visible what i'm trying to say when it is web the canvas app should be visible for the phone and tablet we will just say it's not so here you can see an app name and app id if you have an existing canvas app which you would like to embed you can just click this pencil icon and you can say bind to a static value and enter the app id here else if you want to create a canvas app from scratch you can click on customize this will take you to the power app studio canvas creation interface where you can start creating your application we have the canvas app available if you notice here in the tree view you will be able to see a specific option added which is called model driven form integration First, I would like to change the display settings. I would like to have it as a tablet interface. So let me go to the display and here 
you can just select your default 16 is to 3 ratio and from the portrait change it to landscape and click on apply let's close this so now you can see your interface is available and this app will automatically have one form and the source of the form should be our shoe inventory data what we have connected in our model driven app now let's add the required columns now i have added the required columns and arranged it in an order let's add a small header to it i'll add a rectangle and arrange it in the form of a header and i'll add one icon which is used to save this record so let me add the save icon place it here change the color to white so that it will be visible just give a padding so it looks good now in the save button i would like to say submit form of form 1 which is the name of this form once you are done what you can do you can save and give it app a name so i will say embed canvas app to model driven apps and let's click on save once this is saved we will publish this app now the app is saved if you go back to the model driven app what we have created in the classic view you will be able to see the name of the app and the app id got auto populated so let's go here and publish the app once this is done you can come here click on ok and you can save it and you can close this classic interface of the model driven app so let me click on save and close now we are in the previous form which is in the modern interface so i would like to reload so that the app gets loaded here we could see an app is getting loaded we are getting an error because we have not selected any item in the interface so what i would like to do i would like to select this and hide the label property so that this uid might be hidden so now we will have the complete page for the canvas app once done we can click on save and publish this is saved so let's get back and run the model driven app and see it in action now the app lists down all the shoe inventory what this has so i would like to open the first inventory let me check that and click this icon to go to the record and now you will be able to see the model driven app is loading a canvas app with the help of that uid and showing all the information what is available in its database so what i would like to do i would like to change the size from 9 to 10 and the list price from 80 to 90. let's click on save once this information is saved if you get back to the model driven app you will be able to see the updated list price and the size one thing what we need to make sure is Whenever we make any changes in the canvas app, we need to make sure the save button is getting clicked. Until unless you click the save button, the form will not save any record. This save or save and close will just save this information available at the header sections only. So if in case you would like to add a new entry, so you can click on plus new and you will not be able to see that canvas app. The reason being you already aware that this canvas app is tied to a column called unique identifier that is uid which is an auto number in the model driven app so if you just save this app that uid will be automatically generated and you will be able to get a blank entry which is available in the canvas form so i would like to add the product name test one i'll copy this i'll give the product number as test one color as black size is 5 weight is 0.25 and let me give the unit price as 100 let me click on this save followed by save and close so now if the model driven up reloads we should be able to see a new record called test one now let's refresh and just do a scroll to see if you are able to find the test one yes what we made the test one the product name is test one with the list price of 100 size of 5 and color of black is available so this use case can be customized and easily be used whenever we need a model driven user interface with the customizations what we do within the canvas apps by this we come to end of this video if you have any questions or clarification please post it in the comment section and we will be able to respond thanks for watching subscribe our channel hit the like button and 
press the bell icon for our new video alerts.